Alrighty folks, as people have been keeping up with the season, mo most will know that the season is mostly getting to the ending of, I suppose, whatever path we're going on. But most of the time you can tell when we're getting close, depending on the seal and how much progress we have on it. Now, if you've been like me and like other people keeping up with your powerfuls, you might notice that the seal is getting completed and there's only one thing so far that we haven't had progress on. So if you go into your triumphs for the seal, and basically that's basically only only things you will need to do for the seal, you'll notice that if you've been keeping up, a lot of these will be already completed, and there's a few that will complete automatically. Like if you are doing, let's just say, keeping up with a weekly story, you'll likely finish the defeating champions in Expunge, as well as defeating champions in Override if you're doing your powerfuls, you're doing your bounties, and just grinding Override for gear. Now, there's other things like Short Circuiter that might happen not naturally, depending on if you don't like any of the weapons, but basically you just need to pick up a season of the Splicer weapons and kill stuff. Now, Wire Cutter, this was one that I didn't have much progress on just because I didn't pick up many Lightkin gear, but literally if you just put on four out of the five sets of Lightkin armor and just head to the, uh, head to Vault of Glass in the opening area and just keep killing Vex regardless of how much you're actually dying, You'll finish that in like 20 minutes, not even kidding, like even if you haven't done it a single time. Just that's a 20 minute grind right there for wire cutter. Now going to the top ending, there is some stuff that will be more so you have to focus on. Like competing path of the splicer quest, that's basically whatever weekly quest comes up. And at this point, uh, there is two more, because this is, I'm making this video on a Sunday. So yeah, there's two more uh, path of splicer quests at time of recording. And I am missing three upgrades for the thing, but that's something that'll happen naturally. As well as Nocturne, uh, completing all the pages of an Endless Night lore book. That all happen naturally just by completing the day-by-day -day stuff. In addition, modded out, that's basically collecting the season splicer mods, not too hard to do. Same with splices are armament. That's just that's doing the Null Composure Fusion Rifle quest, just getting it. Which I would definitely recommend doing just because it is a good fusion rifle and oddly good boss damage. But in addition, the last triumph that will probably be the very last thing is defeating the source of the Endless Night. Basically, a lot of these will all happen naturally if you're keeping uh, uh, an eye on the season and what's happening. There are some things you'll have to focus on, like wearing specific gear, using specific weapons. The champion's override and, and expunge should happen naturally. Uh, and all these mods and all these, they all should happen naturally. So if you've been keeping up with the season, the seal isn't too far away. But I expect we have two to three more weeks, at least mostly, until the last thing we need to do is Daybreak, which at that point, we'll just have to wait until likely the season's epilogue. So with that, that is all for this video. A quick run through of what you'll need to do for Splicer to actually finish the seasonal seal. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.